Yo guys, Spider here. Now, we've been trying to figure out for some time why we haven't got the achievement I'm your Huckleberry, where Huckleberry helps Maybe you open up all the barriers. Well, one idea that uh, the guys came up with because of that fountain in the middle of the uh, the maze, well, what about this fountain? And we tried shooting it, but we couldn't do anything. Well, what if we get Huckleberry to ram into it? Yeah, that's it. That is it. I'm your Huckleberry achievement. And then the fountain starts spewing water. I guess it was just the, the barrel that was preventing us from, from uh, shooting this thing. But you can't actually shoot it. Uh, it just, you know, dislodged the barrel. You got the achievement. Now, I'm just going to run through quickly here the other locations of the, uh, the barricades that uh, Huckleberry had helped us open just for the achievement. Because you got to get him to help you with all the barricades and complete all of them weapons. in order to, uh, to get the achievement. And here we're just talking about, okay, well, what the heck did we do now, right? With the, uh, with the fountain. And we're talking about going to the back fountain. But let's, uh, let's continue with the achievement here. So we're just going to run through all the locations. The one, one location is uh, right in front of the church. That's uh, where you have to, to get Huckleberry to ram into the barrier and remove it. Second location is in front of the ghost house. Third is right down this uh, alleyway, right beside the candy store on your way to the saloon. Uh, fourth is down here by into getting into the, uh, the gunsmith, the gun shop here. Uh, fifth is to get into the barn, that back area uh, of the barn. Sixth is to get into Jug, and seventh is, you know, it always happens whenever you give him the alcohol for the first time. Uh, he always breaks down the barrier of the jailhouse. So that's how you get the achievement. And then what we did, um, you know, and, and this is why we're indicating it as, as sort of part of the Easter egg, because you have to get back to the spawn area um, as part of the Easter egg. I mean, we want to presumably this power the one or like one of the towers really or whatever that's back at the spawn. So we're going to go back to the fountain that was in the uh, maze area. So, uh, yeah, check it out. It's like this vortex. There's the vortex in it. And Hyper goes first. Always the man to jump first. Jump before looking. Right, Hyper? Yeah, and There's he goes back to spawn. So and then I jump in, and there we are. We're back in spawn, and uh, we just got uh, this achievement. So it's when the revolution comes. And uh, you know what? We're just going to throw in the nav card table here as well, because the nav card table gets built right here. So the tower must get powered like this is the the tower that we're uh, click, we're working on is right like above us but uh, yeah right where uh, hyper is standing is where the nav card table gets built and we were correct on the meteor rock the meteor rock was on the ground right in front of the table hyper uh, picked it up in his uh, excitedness and uh, remember we were looking at that and i mentioned in one of the previous How videos it that it was lying on the ground right about weapon. just behind him so he's going to build the nav card table right there all right the invisible table and then we have the uh the radio the transformer and the uh the base or the board and we already showed the locations uh the, there was one location in behind the barn area um, where those parts could be found. So we end up building the nav card table. Maybe I should and, swap to my secondary. Uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, let's let's check out inserting the nav card as well. So uh, Axel was the one that, that has the nav card. The nav card from Die Rise is the one that goes here. The nav card I have is actually from Buried. And Axel had the, the nav card from Die Rise. So he was, you know, the, the table accepted his nav card. Now what we want to try is... Map pack for zombies map going to be the one that accepts the nav card from buried or does the buried nav card go to transit and and maybe that unlocks something for the next DLC. Um, I, I'm thinking, oh, really I don't know. I mean, there was always testing. talk about try, you know, try, uh, I can't remember, trichotomous system and we now have powered three towers. So who knows? Maybe there isn't a nav card table in uh, the fourth DLC map, and we do put the nav card into transit from Buried. But we're going to try that uh, later on once we uh, end the current game because we're still on round... We go, we, we, yeah, we're on round three now. Uh, we're still on round three and playing in the same game. This is only our second game, all right? So, yeah, a couple updates. We got a couple of achievements. We got back to the spawn area. We got the nav card table built, and uh, we still got to go back to figure out what the heck is going on with this... Uh, this purple glowing floating disappearing and reappearing lantern stay tuned guys we'll have plenty more i'm spider and i'm out 
Hey guys, got some other stuff you might be interested in. Over on the left hand side, we got NGT Let's Play. We're doing playthroughs right now, currently, of Deadpool and Borderlands 2, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep. Both are actually absolutely fantastic games, and uh, Borderlands 2 being DLC, but hilarious. So go check that out. Subscribe if you like the content. Over on the right hand side, we're doing Clash of Clans, continuing our series there. Again, just a completely addictive and fantastic multiplayer game we got a clan going on we got some uh, attack strategies we got base defense and building strategies so make sure you go check out those videos and subscribe otherwise hey enjoyed the buried coverage i hope you like it twitch.tv slash next gen tactics we're gonna be here all day july 2nd later